infimum and supimum. Now, infimum is also called greatest lower bound and supremum is also called least upper bound. Now, let us look at a sequence 1 by n. Now, here the lower bound is 0. Just try to figure out the terms. So, n is 1, this will be 1. n is 2, it will be 0 0.5. When n is 3, it will be 0 0.33. When it is 4, it will be 0 0.25. When it is 5, it will be 0 0.2. So, when it is say 10, it will be 0 0.1. When it is 1000 or let us say 100, it will be 0 0.01 and so on. So, as you notice that it gets, it is moving towards 0. So, the lower bound is 0. Now, any real number less than 0 is also a lower bound of this sequence. Now, the greatest among all these lower bounds is called the infimum or greatest lower bound or GLUB, GLD, GLB. Now, similarly, if we look at 1 plus 1 by n, n belonging to natural numbers, now here upper bound is 2 and any number greater than 1, sorry, greater than 2 is also a upper bound of this sequence. The smallest among all these upper bounds is called the least upper bound or supremum. Now, let us look at it formally. A real number m is said to be the infimum or the GLB of a sequence if it satisfies two conditions. One is that any term in the sequence is always greater than or equal to m. So, for all n belonging to the set of real, uh, natural numbers. So, this says that m is a lower bound and the second condition is for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists at least one term, let us say a n, such that a n is less than m plus epsilon. So, what this means is that any number greater than m cannot be a lower bound. So, here it says m is a lower bound and here it says any number greater than m cannot be a lower bound. Okay. Same we can follow. So, a real number m is said to be the supremum or the least upper bound of sequence xn if just like before two conditions. The first condition is that m is the upper bound and the second condition is for a small value greater than 0 of epsilon there exists at least at least one term let us say a n such that a n is greater than sorry m minus epsilon. So, this says this condition says m is a upper bound. This condition says any number lesser than m 
cannot be a upper bound let's take an example and work through it let's say 1 by 1 plus 1 by n where for all n belonging to set of natural numbers now let epsilon be greater than 0 belonging to a real number now when we talk of this remember epsilon is going to be a very small number so 1 plus 1 by n is less than 1 plus epsilon let's say 1 plus 1 by n is less than 1 plus epsilon so this and this gets cancelled so we have 1 by n is less than epsilon or in other words n is greater than 1 by epsilon now let m be the nearest positive integer greater than 1 by epsilon so 1 plus 1 by n is less than 1 plus epsilon for all n greater than or equal to m so remember m is the nearest positive integer nearest to 1 by epsilon so 1 plus 1 by n would be less than 1 plus epsilon so what this means is any real number greater than 1 cannot be a lower bound so therefore 1 is the GLB of 1 plus 1 by n. Now let's look at the LUB. Now 2 is the upper bound of the same 1 plus 1 by n. So 1 plus 1 by n is always less than or equal to 2 where n belongs to the set of natural numbers so let epsilon be greater than 0 belonging to real numbers epsilon is a very small number real number so 1 1 plus 1 by n is greater than 2 minus epsilon which implies that means what we are saying is 1 plus 1 by n is greater than a number smaller than 1 by n is going to be greater than 2 minus 1 1 minus epsilon now let's take the reciprocals of both the sides so this becomes n is less than 1 by 1 minus epsilon now let m be the nearest positive integer greater than 1 by 1 minus epsilon then 1 plus 1 by n less than 2 minus epsilon for all n less than m whenever the value of n is less than m then 1 plus 1 by n is less than 2 minus epsilon now this basically says that any real number smaller than 2 cannot be an upper bound of the sequence okay let's very quickly look at another example let's say the sequence is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 to the power of n let's figure out the terms minus 1 by 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 by 2 to the power of 4 and so on minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 and so on now here we can see that minus 1 by 2 is the greatest 
लोअर बाउंड और जीएलबी और इनफिम एंड वन बाई फोर इज द लीस्ट अपर बाउंड और एल यू बी और सुप्रीम एंड एज यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल दैट दिस जी एल बी एंड एल यू बी मे अपियर इन अनएक्सपेक्टेड प्लेसेस इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस यू माइंड बी एबल टू फिगर इट आउट ग्राफिकली एज वेल लेट से दिस इज जीरो दिस इज वन दिस इज माइनस वन एंड वन ना लेट्स प्लॉट दीज नंबर्स माइनस वन बाय टू माइनस वन बाय टू वन बाय फोर सो वन बाय फोर देन माइनस वन बाय एट देन वन बाय सिक्सटीन सो वन बाय सिक्सटीन एंड एस यू कैन नोटिस दैट दिस इज दिस एक्सट्रीम and this is this extreme all the other terms will fall between these so we can say minus 1 by 2 to the power of n is less than or equal to 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 2 is less than or equal to this okay i think that's enough by for now